Hello guys, I hope I find you well. You know, the word says that um, study to show yourself approved by God, a workman who is not ashamed of the gospel, rightly dividing the word of truth. When you look at that word approved, approved simply means pleasing or accepted by God. So it's important that we engage or rather we are rooted uh, we, in the word of God so that we can be pleasing and be accepted unto God. Today, I just want us to read uh, from the book of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. I want us to talk about a bit about the four pillars of the word of God. Uh, it reads, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So right there, we hear that the, uh, the Word of God is profitable, number one, for teaching. Teaching is one of the pillars of the Word of God. So it's important that we allow ourselves to be teachable by the Word of God. In the Word of God, there is a lot of wisdom, there is a lot of knowledge, so we need to open up our hearts and our minds and allow the Word of God to do its work. And pillar number two, it is profitable for reproof. Reproof simply means to bring conviction. When we read the Word of God, the Word of God will convict us. So it's important that we allow the Word of God to do that. And pillar number three, it is prof profitable for correction. The Bible says God corrects us because He loves us. So it's important that we allow ourselves to be corrected by the Word of God. We need to open our hearts and allow the Word of God to prune us, to sharpen us through its correction. And then pillar number four, uh, it is profitable for exhortation. It's, uh, we, we, we all love to be encouraged, we all love to be comforted. But I, I want to say to you that um, let us not only be, uh, let us not only stand on the pillar of exhortation, but let us all be founded standing on the four pillars because that's the only, that's, that's only, uh, that's the only way we can become acceptable and pleasing unto God. Uh, the Bible says that um, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Uh, the reason why a double-minded man is unstable is simply because he has not allowed himself to be fully finished by the Word of God. When you look at a four-legged chair, the only way that it can be uh, stable is when it's standing on those four legs. If you remove one leg, it becomes unstable. So my prayer is that we all become stable and we all become rooted in the Word of God. For that's the only way we can please the Lord our God. And today is Wednesday. Um, it's live group. Uh, this is the day where we get we go for live groups. And I want to encourage all of you guys, let us be part of a live group. Uh, in retreat, there are live groups that are happening in Waterfalls, Park Town. There are also live groups that are happening in Zindoga. Live groups will be taking place. Please don't be left out in Headcliff also they will be meeting for live groups please uh, engage uh, whoever uh, is, 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 is leading in those areas and they'll be able to direct you to the closest live group uh, to where you stay and also not forgetting Friday Friday we've got worship cafe and let us come in numbers let us come and worship the Lord our God on Sunday we've got two services at the at, the, at waterfalls the first service starting at 8 45 and then the second service Service will be starting at 10:30, and uh, in um, Headcliff, their first service starts at 8:45. In Hopley, uh, the service starts at, at 10 o'clock, and likewise in uh, Mondoro, their service starts at 10 o'clock as well. Do not be left out, guys. In this season, God is doing great things. Until we meet again, may the Lord richly bless you.